I'm going to present a case series on uh, intraventricular hemorrhage. I'm junior resident department of radiology from STM Bhava. Accelerated intraventricular hemorrhage is rare in adults and seldom described. After ruling out the history of trauma, numerous etiologies remain possible. The most frequently found underlying reasons are arteriovenous malformations and aneurysms, but other vascular causes we need to rule out are cavernous malformation and moyamoy disease. Intraventricular tumors can also present with IVH. Arterial hypertension, anticoagulant use, coagulopathy, and certain toxic substances are also observed with IVH. Finally, the IVH can be idiopathic and the uh, necessary investigations, CT angiography, MRI angiography needed to be sought out for finding the cause. This is the aim is uh, of the pictorial assay was to give the etiology of intraventricular hemorrhage. So vascular pathologies, AVM, aneurysm, cavernous malformation, moyamoy disease, dural IV fistula and vascular disease, avascular pathologies, tumor, Intraventricular tumor predisposing factors like arterial hypertension, coagulopathy, anticoagulation, symptomatic trauma, surgery, and recirculation of suburban hemorrhage. Case of bilateral uh, uh, intraventricular hemorrhage in the lateral ventricle, and the cause was found to be Moyamoya disease. There is a narrowing of the internal carotid artery with uh, complete occlusion of the supraclinoid portion of the internal carotid artery and uh, multiple collaterals are seen. So multiple collaterals are noted around the circle of villus supplying the anterior circulation from branches of posterior cerebral arteries, likely suggestive of Moyamoy disease and there was complete occlusion of bilateral supraclinoid segment with narrowing of bilateral cervical and intraclinoid portions. In the case of Moyamoy disease, which presented with isolated bilateral intraventricular hemorrhage. Case of uh, intraventricular hemorrhage, fourth ventricle and some subtle subarachnoid hemorrhage. In this case, it was found to have the thrombosis of the internal carotid artery, uh, complete thrombosis of extracranial and internal intracranial internal carotid artery. This case of uh, Bilateral interventricular hemorrhage with uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage, and the uh, cause was a common aneurysm, which is present, measuring 8.8 .8 .8 into 7.2 into 9.6 m. Next the case of 25 year old female with sudden onset unresponsiveness, bilateral interventricular hemorrhage, third ventricle, and uh, uh, lateral ventricle, third ventricle and fourth ventricle. And the uh, cause was found to be the multiple collaterals arising from the posterior cerebral arteries. There is an iris here present. And uh, draining vein into the internal cerebral veins. So, suggestive so of arteriovenous malformation. 15 year female with uh, cerebrovascular accident. Interventional hemorrhage noted in the left lateral ventricle, and, and uh, there was found to be have uh, uh, AVM in the splenium of corpus callosum, uh, posterior to the splenium, bilateral medial thalamus with the cycular aneurysmal dilatation, NIDAS measuring 11 into 13 into 10 mm. Feeding artery from right posterior cerebral artery. You can see here from the right posterior cerebral artery and uh, draining veins into bilateral internal cerebral veins and middle medullary veins, which in turn was draining, seen draining into frontal parietal vein, straight sinus, straight venous channel, again into suppressor arteries. So this case of complex AV malformation with aneurysms. So AV malformation can lead to hemorrhage restricted to the ventricular system and have been identified as causes of interventional hemorrhage. Another case of 35-year-old with headache, blurring of vision, right lateral interventricular hemorrhage, 
and it is able to handle gram glass within the normal limit. So this is one of the cause uh, where we don't know. Interventricular bleed, uh, the are booming. There was on T2 maze there was a tumor with the large lobulated mildly energy interventricular lesion was present with non-energy system. With tumoral bleed and intraventricular extension was also. The conclusion is a variety of pathologists are responsible for isolated IVF. So we have to do CT angiography, MR angiography, and catheter angiography is must. It provides complementary information and for the confident evaluation and a potential treatment access. Thank you.